Today, I am going to discuss about causes of inflation and measures to control inflation. And you know that inflation is one of the basic economic problems. So, welcome to my YouTube channel, Mechanical Engineering Management. So, let's start from the first topic, causes of inflation. The various causes responsible for inflation are as follows. Increase in money supply, increase in disposable income, increase in public expenditure, increase in consumer spending, cheap monetary policy, deficit financing, increase in exports. Now let's see one by one all these causes briefly. So first one increase in money supply. Supply of more money by government in the market leaves more money with the people. So people try to spend this money which raises price level of goods. So very simple. If increase in money supply by the government then definitely the price level of the goods rises. Next, increase in disposable income. So, let's see first of all the meaning of disposable income. Income in remaining after deduction of taxes and social security charges available to be spent for sale as one wishes. So, whatever it may be the remaining money that is available to be spent by the person is known as disposable income. When the disposable income of the people increases, that means the capacity to spend. It raises the demand for goods and services. So, disposable income may increase with the rise of national income or reduction in taxes or reduction in saving by people. Next, increase in public expenditure. In modern world, government activities have been expanding which resulted in increased government expenditure. This raised the aggregate demand for goods and services, thereby causing inflation. Increase in consumer spending. So, let's see first of all the very important word conspicuous consumption. Expenditure on consumption of luxuries on a lavish scale in an attempt to enhance one's prestige that is called as conspicuous consumption. So, now let us try to understand this fourth point. The demand for goods and services also increases when consumer spending increases due to conspicuous consumption that means for the lavish style. Next, cheap monetary policy. Cheap monetary policy or the policy of credit expansion also leads to increase in the money supply which raises the demand for goods and services in the economy thereby leading to inflation. Next, deficit financing. In order to meet more expenses by government, the government thinks to deficit financing by borrowing from the public and even by printing more notes. This raises aggregate demand in relation to aggregate supply thereby leading to inflation. Next, increase in exports. If the demand for domestically produced goods increases in foreign countries, the industries earn more money by exporting their commodities. These in turn create more demand for goods and services within the economy. 
Now it's done for measures to control inflation. So various measures to control inflation are as follows. Monetary measures, fiscal measures and direct measures. Now monetary measures are also divided in three different categories. Credit control, demonetization of currency, issue of new currency. Fiscal measures is also divided in five different groups. Reduction in expenditure, increase in taxes, increase in savings, surplus budgets, public debt. Now direct measures that is also divided in three different categories to increase production, price control and rationing. So these are the various measures to control inflation. Now let's see one by one briefly. So first monetary policy and in which first subtopic is credit control. The central bank could adopt a number of methods to control the quantity and quality of credit to reduce the supply of money. For this purpose, it raises the bank rates, sells securities in the open market, raises reserve ratio, etc. Next, monetary measures in which subcategory is demonetization of currency. Another monetary measure is to demonetize currency of higher value. Such a measure is usually adopted when there is abundance of black money in the country. Next, third one, issue of new currency. The most extreme monetary measure is the issue of new currency in place of old currency. Such a measure is adopted when there is an excessive issue of knots and there is hyperinflation in the economy. Now, fiscal measures. First one is reduction in expenditure. The government should reduce unnecessary expenditure on non-development activities in order to control inflation. Next, increase in taxes. To cut personal consumption expenditure, the rates of personal, corporate and commodity taxes should be raised and even new taxes should be implemented. But the rate of taxes should not be too high as to discourage saving, investment and production. Next, increase in savings. Government should promote to increase savings by people so that their disposable income and purchasing power would be reduced. For these, the government should encourage savings by giving various incentives. Next, surplus budgets. Surplus budget is the type of budget where the expected government revenue is greater than expected government expenditure, due to which there is a surplus in the budget. It results a fall in aggregate demand and price level in the economy and helps to combat inflationary situations. Next, public debt. So, first of all, see what is the meaning of public debt. Sometimes also referred to as government debt. Represents the total outstanding debt. It includes bonds and other securities of a country's central government. So, public debt that means one type of the purse of the public and that is operated by the central government. In addition, the government should stop repayment of public debt and postpone it to some future date till inflationary pressures are controlled. 
the government should borrow more to reduce money supply with the public. Now, it's done for direct measures. The first one is to increase production. The government should encourage the production of essential consumer goods like food, clothing, kerosene oil, sugar, vegetable oil, etc. All possible help in the form of latest technology, raw materials, financial help, subsidies, etc. should be provided to different consumer goods sectors to increase production. Next, price control. Price control is also a measure of direct control to check inflation. Price control means fixing an upper limit for the prices of essential consumer goods. Now, rationing. Rationing aims at distributing consumption of scare goods so as to make them available to a large number of consumers. It is applied to essential goods such as wheat, rice, sugar, kerosene, oil, etc. If you want to see more videos, then subscribe my YouTube channel and go to playlist. Thanks my dear friends. Press the like button to appreciate this video.